Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brad again. <clears throat> I wanted to recap my swings for the month and uh, basically the whole time, the strategies behind each trade that I'm doing and anything along those lines. So basically the first trade I want to get into is ACHN. It's a pharmaceutical company. Um, basically they have millions and millions of dollars in assets over their liability. So like the fundamental aspect to it is not horrible compared to a lot of the OTCs and the NASDAQ stocks around this price range, but it is valued at a good price, like decently good price. I wouldn't say amazing, but the fundamentals are not terrible, terrible. They do have some good qualities to them if you're going to go into depth and look at it. Um, so the first thing I want to get into about the technicals of this chart is that the reason why like I actually swung this trade about um, a month ago or so and I saw that it gapped down and usually when it gaps down um, that gap needs to be filled it's just a self-fulfilling prophecy that people are gonna believe that the gap needs to be filled and people are gonna buy the price up depending on which direction the charts moving in so like as you could see it gap down and it still showed that there was a lot of buying pressure at these lower prices down here and it slowly slowly curled up so it was just a, it was a really attractive chart and if I do this I do this um resistance line because it was pulling up around the four dollar range and it was it was actually a very very strong support so when re, when support is broken it turns into resistance and when resistance is broken it turns into support so here the the support was very sturdy it held the support and it continued to bounce as soon as it broke it it became resistance and it actually broke the resistance and it held the support around this area right here so it confirmed the support level and it continued to move higher now it's uh i'm assuming it's correcting itself and i'm prepared i'm um i'm prepared for the bounce so i'm in this at 410 and as you can see, the support levels around 405, 408, 410 area. So I'm just there for the bounce, you know, kind of this consolidation between these two prices, like $4 and $5. If it can move higher, that's great. If they release some type of catalyst, some news, some information that makes me want to hold it longer, I'll hold it longer. But for now, I'm looking for maybe $0.60 cents on this move. If anything so anything in this price range like anywhere from like I like I'm willing to sell at 450 to anywhere to 480 if it's showing strong signs of staying the stock I will hold it a little bit longer or sell half profit or average up depending on how I feel later on so yeah that's uh, one of my stocks that I'm swinging right now there's AEMD um, this is very very low risk if you look at the chart for the last one year, it's been very, very bearish. Like you can draw a trend line and every time it hits that top, right? Every time it hits that top, one, two, and three, right? So every time it hits that top, it just seems to just sell off automatically. Like there's any type of gap up, any type of movement upwards, it sells off really, really fast. So if we go deeper into the chart, zoom in, now we see that every time that it's consolidating it does turn down a little bit but it continues to like to shoot up where just the fact that it has such low float 8 million shares floating right now so literally like it's a limited amount of supply and there's a lot of demand so if you look at the chart every time it like it shoots up it shoots up far but it comes down fast because people are already holding losses people all the bag holders in these areas that are that got in here and now they're down here they see a another um, another price movement or a gap up or whatever it is and then they sell it they sell it into the move so they can cut their losses because they already held through all this down movement you know so it's gonna take a while for this stock to find a bottom and I feel like right now in this area there is a bottom because it's holding these prices it's holding 96 95 and it's ten, like it, it doesn't have too much volume you could see that it's uh, like it's lower than the average volume but um, in this price range right here, it's very low risk. You know, you take 500 bucks to a thousand dollars or whatever you want and you just can hold it at these price ranges and you can just wait it out and wait a couple of weeks, 
a month or whatever it is but you got to understand like look at how fast these price moves like these price move really fast so all you got to do is wait it out see what happens and go from there right because like the company's releasing news like it did release news october 18th which was three days ago it's not a big deal or anything like that because the stock didn't really move at all it actually it, it went up like 20 cents and then it came back down so it's not strong enough news yet um then we got um some of my bitcoin stocks uh, i saw that bitcoin let's go to bitcoin right now cryptocurrency bitcoin Bitcoin was actually, I saw it around, where was it? Let's go to the month chart. I saw that Bitcoin was about to break $6,000 and that's a big milestone for Bitcoin. You know, it's showing bullish indication that this thing's going to continue to move higher. So I saw it at 5895 five, 5995 5, and it kept moving higher, but it kept resisting that six thousand dollar point so i just took my position in two bitcoin stocks that are associated with bitcoin um they're not directly associated but they're bitcoin stocks so anything that goes up in like uh, when the bitcoin value goes goes up the companies that are associated with bitcoin tend to go up so i took two positions and these not huge positions but i took them just because I'm prepared for where Bitcoin's going. I I'm I don't, I'm not sure like what the real value of Bitcoin is. They're saying ten thousand. Who knows, right? Um, like our generation today is a lot of, it's it's all about technology and internet and and we're in that generation. So Bitcoin could be a value, but I don't support it at all under any circumstances because of what it's used for. But um, yeah, so anyways, I took two positions in this in, in these two companies very 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 cheap stocks six cents 16 cents You know buy three thousand four thousand shares and let it sit out for a while and um, maybe hold it for a week or so For because it did break um, Six thousand dollars it actually closed it didn't close it um it hit a top of almost 6200 so like that should be a really good sign for when it opens on Monday. Um, yeah, so the, the, these swings, like, I, I don't have, like, a certain time frame. But if they hold bullish movement, I won't sell. If it, if some type of catalyst comes out and it goes up a lot, I'll sell half my position, depending on where it goes. If it turns down, I'll sell at a, a small loss. And that's really what it is to it. Like when you were, when you want to swing these stocks, you want to make sure you have a reason, a strategy. Like what is your um your plan to back out? What is your plan to get out? You know, so you want it to be reliable. You you don't want to get into the, these stocks that like um top volume gainers, um, all these different things because they're very risky, right? They're like overextended prices. And you never know when they're going to collapse on you, right? Like a lot of people, okay, I, I can swing this stock right here. Sure you can. But do you know what? The possibility of it coming down because it's a NASDAQ stock so cheap or OTC stock that's so cheap, it's going to come poop on you. So you want to make sure that you're not um, buying these overvalued stocks at such high prices because they come down extremely fast, especially when they're low flow. This here is only 300, 300 million shares. It's a lot, but it's not too much it, the price can still come down extremely fast if you have enough selling pressure and enough enough shorters to confirm that movement so yeah like those are my swings for the for the month and uh we'll see where they're headed um i can just say like these are this is my bottom bounce play like my uh i guess to buy support because like you can just see every time it hits support one two three four five now i'm just in that movement to go upwards i'm just waiting for it to close that that gap right there right amd low risk you know just let it sit there see what happens um btsc bts btcs and btsc they're the bitcoin play so Bitcoin's in a very bullish um, 
price direction right now. So why not get a part of it, right? Like if if you don't want to buy the Bitcoin at six thousand, why not just buy these smaller Bitcoin companies that are associated with the Bitcoin dollar? I don't like. I don't see a big deal out of that. I wish I could have got Bitcoin at cheaper prices, but right now, you never know when it's gonna collapse or whatever. So. Yeah, those are my uh, swing trades for the for the month. I hope you guys learned something. Um, also, another thing is when you're looking at like your swings, right? Uh, a good indication to show like your swings moving in the right direction is that your MACD over the longer period of time is making newer highs. But as you can see for this stock, it's not. It's kind of like on like the very bearish like area. Because you can see like here it gapped up, came down, and now it's very bearish. Once you see it come up above this area here, once you see it break above that area, you're gonna it's you're gonna like it's gonna confirm to you that this thing is moving in the right direction now, right? Or like breaking certain support levels, previous um support levels. Um and the stochastics and the volume also tell you more things. I'm not gonna get into that too much right now but you want to watch out for all these indicators to confirm something to you right there's divergence patterns so you got to watch out the, for those as well they look bearish but they're actually very um, bullish it shows that, that the charts going lower but the MACD is actually going higher and the stochastics is going higher with some confirmed volume so once you see that that's a great thing to watch out for um, there's also mul multiple stocks, multiple stocks. So there was this stock, Inf Infinity. Um, I actually charted this out. Um, I analyzed it before this breakout, which was pretty interesting. Um, not a lot of people would see this, but it's a very, very small head and shoulders. This is a left shoulder. It's a re reverse head and shoulders. So it's a small shoulder here, one. And then it's a big dip, which is the head. And then a smaller right shoulder because small. if you take this and you flip it upside down the head and shoulders the left shoulder is always bigger the head is the biggest and then the shoulder the right shoulder is has the least volume so here you could see that there was it formed like a small reverse head and shoulders which is bullish and after that happened it came up a couple of days later and broke out it gapped up and it went up like it hit a high of 375 from one dollar sixty five at the at the high of that chart so that was pretty incredible to watch that happen um many stocks many stocks but i'm not like i said i'm not gonna get too much into them if you want me to keep making videos comment um regardless i'm gonna continue to make videos and all that kind of stuff so watch out for that um yeah so everyone have a good day and hopefully you guys learned something